What's going on YouTube? It's Doug Dagnabbit from ModernWarzone.com and today we're coming at you with a guide to the newest easter egg in Warzone that actually leads you to a secret subway station up by the dam to where you can unlock exclusive items such as the durable gas mask. Um, there is a new kill streak called Foresight which will allow you to see every circle for the rest of the game that so far I've only seen from bunkers or this easter egg. You can also get a minigun, juggernaut suit, all types of things you can get from this easter egg and it's actually not that difficult to do so just stick around we're going to teach you how to do it so the easiest way for you to actually get this easter egg done since it's time based is going to be to go into the parliament building before you ever actually try to finish it and learn where the paintings are located and assign your own coding system to them for example what we used for ours was metal shoulder blonde arch black house white house bag and tree now there's a million different ways you can name these things, but as long as you have some type of a coding system that works and that you and your team can understand and can quickly comprehend, you should be able to do this just fine. Now you actually start this Easter egg by going into the city hall or parliament building and you want to go to the keypad behind the main desk in the venue. You want to interact with the keypad and press 2179. This will initiate a lockdown sequence that begins to fill the room with toxic gas and that starts a countdown timer in which you have to complete this easter egg or else you and your teammates will die. During this countdown timer it actually locks the doors on the outside of the building so nobody can get in or out. I tried this with my squad, even if the door was glitched and looked open we could not run in. So rest assured once you start this you will be able to complete it without anyone messing with you if you know what to do. Once you've got the gas filling up the room, you're going to want to start to actually work on solving this easter egg. So you're going to have one person go adjacent to where the keypad is, directly across from them, and you're going to want them to interact with this computer. Whoever does this, once they start, they cannot move. They are locked into this animation. They cannot shoot. They can't do anything. They are stuck. So make sure that person is comfortable with making the correct callouts and is ready to go. The other teammates are going to position themselves around the room and go look at all the different various paintings. And they want to make sure that they note which paintings have which Roman numerals underneath. That way, whenever the communicator is giving them their numbers and what to add or subtract, that they are able to properly communicate back with them what to do. Because the person putting in the actual code is going to have to put in eight different eight different digits for a four digit code so their their job is just as crucial as the people calling out to them they just have to work more on a time limit based manner it's honestly not difficult to decode it the difficult part is going to be getting the keys into the actual keypad i was going to go in depth and explain this but instead i'm just going to let you listen to our live game and how we work together as a team to get the correct code all right, I got black house. Okay. Oh, yeah. Five. Okay. Uh, seven. Okay. Five, seven, six. Okay. Five, seven, six, four. Okay. If you didn't realize this already, you're going to go in order for the password as the same order as the computer shows you the paintings. If you input the code correctly, it should give you a prompt that says Subway Override Authorized and you're good to move on from City Hall and move towards the airport metro station where you'll continue on with this Easter egg. You're going to go down into the airport metro and then you're going to hang a left. You're going to want to run all the way across where you first ran over to, not across the tracks. Don't worry about that. And you're going to want to activate the computer. You'll see a train leave your area, but the way that you know that the proper train is there is that the calling stations that show you the next station or where the train is arriving from should start to glitch out and look all, all the way red and, and kind of like the matrix. That's how you know that the next train coming is the one to take you to the Easter egg subway. Once you get on this special train, you'll see that it says maintenance and you'll see that it teleports you all the way up near the top of the dam. You can reap your rewards now. There's all types of things in here. We found miniguns, juggernaut suits, specialist bonuses, advanced UAVs, precision airstrikes, um, the new kill streak, which is called Foresight, which shows you every circle in the game. Pretty much you name it, it may be here. So this Easter egg is definitely worth doing. 
And on top of that, you get an exclusive blueprint called the Firebrand, which is a Bruin 60 round mag blueprint. It kind of looks like a Nerf gun. But overall, this Easter egg really is not that difficult to do. It's all about having three people who have a proper coding system for the paintings and adding and subtracting from those Roman numerals and doing it in a timely manner. You have about two to two and a half minutes while the gas is filling the room to complete this. And after that, your team will die and you'll have to start all over again. So I hope this helped you guys out today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's all we have for you. We have m a lot more videos coming for season six. There's a lot of content that's going to be flowing the next few days. Um, we plan to put out a more detailed guide with better graphics for this, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there. As always, I appreciate all of your support, and I thank you for watching Modern Warzone. And we actually were just able to monetize on YouTube, so I truly, truly appreciate it. And if you've noticed, this is still not an eight-minute video. I'm never going to stretch out a video just for the sake of making a buck. So I appreciate you guys and girls, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and enjoy the rest of Season 6. Modern War Zones going dark.